Now Lucinda Rue, who by the way has a connection to Yuka Sato. When Lucinda lived in Japan, she was coached by Yuka's dad, himself a former Japanese champion. And Yuka and Lucinda were like sisters. And like Brian Orser, this is also a tribute to figure skating, choreographed by Tyler Cranston. It's Michael Crawford singing tonight. doesn't seem humanly possible. A beautiful program for Lucinda. It showcased her talents perfectly. And if any place appreciates spin, it's Washington. As <laughs> they give her a big ovation. The professional world is a perfect place for her to showcase her talents. 
She struggled as a competitor on the amateur ranks because of her jumping ability wasn't up to par with the other skaters. But as a person who can spin, the best that ever was. Following in Swiss champion Denise Bielman's footsteps, this, the Bielman. Unbelievable, but what I love about Lucinda Spins is not only the fact that she can rotate in one spot so quickly, but also she invents such amazing positions, each exclusively her own. And she says when she spins, she gets lost in her own world. It looks like someone else's spin on fast forward. There's yeah, gotta this be... is a slow motion. <laughs> There's got to be some right. brain damage done here somewhere. I'm dizzy just well, watching. Oh. She speaks six languages. <laughs> <laughs> she, she broke into Chinese with her coach walking over the building. I was like, hello. <laughs> She's a formidable young lady. It's impossible to think that 9-7 is the reward for being the best spinner that ever lived. Yeah, I, I disagree with that. What they have responded to is the fact that she did no triples at all, one double axle, several double jumps. But I'm with you, Scott. For me, it's 9999. Nine, Something that special should be rewarded, it seems to me. She is the it's, leader, at least temporarily. And those spins are not...